there, I am Jen Smith with Light in the Womb Birth Services, and today I'm going to be answering a very important question. Why in the world are some postpartum women eating their placentas? That's right, I said it. Eating their placentas. So, to be fair, not all women are eating their placentas completely raw. The majority of them are actually encapsulating their placentas, which means dehydrating it, turning it into a powder, and then putting it into capsules, and then taking it like a vitamin. So it's not really as bad as it sounds. But let me explain a little bit about why this is happening. So almost every species of mammals in the world consumes the placenta immediately after the birth. So why is it that we humans find this so taboo and revolting? In one study by Dr. Victoria Hendricks, she says that the months following childbirth are a time of heightened vulnerability to depressive mood changes because of the abrupt and dramatic changes occurring in hormone levels after delivery. Well, we've all heard about women's hormones during pregnancy. It's not a myth. Women are very hormonal. An interesting fact that you might not know, though, is that during pregnancy, the placenta actually takes over uh, making most of the hormones. And so it gives your thyroid a little bit of a break because your thyroid is what is used to making most of those hormones. So once a woman has birthed her placenta, many of those hormones go with it. And so now your thyroid has to kick back into high gear. And in many moms, the thyroid is just a little bit slow to restart. And so this can lead to low levels of hormones. In an article titled Baby Blues, it says that during the last trimester of pregnancy, the placenta secretes three times the amount of hormones that directly relate to cortisol. And cortisol is the hormone that helps us to perform well under stress. So you can kind of see how um, maybe a mama at the end of her pregnancy might need to perform well under a stressful situation. But after the birth of the placenta, those hormone levels drop significantly. And so this hormone level drop is what's been linked to postpartum depression and mood disorders. Dr. Hendricks tells us that the amount of estrogen and progesterone can drop all the way down to the level of pre-pregnancy in as little as five days postpartum. Talk about a huge flood of hormones leaving your body all at once. So according to her study, Dr. Hendricks has found that as many as 22% of postpartum mamas will suffer from some form of postpartum mood disorder in the first six months after having their baby. That's one in five mamas. One in five. Another reason for this, in addition to the rapid drop of hormone levels, is fatigue. So according to an article by Dr. Elizabeth Corwin and midwife Megan Arbor titled Postpartum Fatigue, as many as 70% of mamas report fatigue during the first two weeks postpartum. Kind of normal. I mean, a little bit to be expected. You are caring for a newborn baby around the clock, and so obviously that would make anyone tired. Um, but 40% of moms continue to report fatigue 12 weeks later. So now the type of fatigue that I'm concerned with is linked to physical conditions, which could include anemia, thyroid dysfunction, inflammation, or even infection. So iron deficiency anemia is very common during pregnancy. And it often increases after the, ba the birth of the baby due to lochia or uh, regular postpartum bleeding that occurs after you have your baby. The problem with anemia is that it is associated with fatigue. And fatigue is associated with depression. So we understand that decreased iron levels during the postpartum period causes an increase in fatigue and the sudden loss of elevated pregnancy hormones can be linked to feelings of depression and baby blues. So we need to find a way to increase postpartum iron levels and replace some of the hormones so that we can have more energy and less depression. And where can you find that? In the placenta. So the placenta is actually a very wonderful organ. It's often thoughtlessly discarded after birth. But what so many of us don't realize is that this beautiful placenta is filled with so many things that can aid a mama during her postpartum period. 
In an article written by Mark Crystal, the placenta, he says that the placenta helps mama and baby to bond better and helps to turn on that natural maternal instinct. He also found that it can increase the pain threshold in mamas during that postpartum period as well. Who wouldn't want that? In addition to that, the placenta is full of bioavailable iron, which means it's easily absorbed into the system. According to a study called Iron Supplementation for Unexplained Fatigue in Non-Anemic Women, I'm going to post all the studies and references to this art, to all the articles used in this video at the end and in the link at the bottom of the video, so you can refer to those if you'd like. Um, iron supplementation has been proven to help decrease fatigue levels. So we can safely infer that by consuming the iron-rich placenta, we may be decreasing the incidence of fatigue, which affects the incidence of postpartum depression. It has also been found that estrogen supplementation can significantly reduce the symptoms of postpartum depression in up to 80% of women. The placenta is filled with this wonderful hormone. So in addition to that, according to a study published in the British Journal of Midwifery, consuming placenta is thought to increase postpartum milk production. So in traditional Chinese medicine, placenta remedies are actually prescribed for mamas struggling to make enough milk. In this study, they found an increase of milk, milk production in 86% of the women in the trial. That's huge. 86% of mamas had an increase in milk production. So another amazing benefit that you get from the placenta is vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is linked to wound healing. So we can conclude that in ingesting vitamin B6 can speed up the recovery time of postpartum wounds, um, any tears to the perineum, any uh, cesarean scars, and it can slow down your lochia or your postpartum bleeding faster. If you want to find out any more information about placenta encapsulation and how you can go about encapsulating your placenta, you can find a provider from um, the APA, which is the Association of Placenta Preparation Arts. Um, their website is placentaassociation.com, and it will have a link to all kinds of APA pro providers who have been properly certified and trained to um, encapsulate placentas in your area. You can visit my website, which is www.lightinthewomb.com, L-I-G-H-T in the womb, W-O-M-B dot com. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you guys and look for all the links to all of my um, articles that I use down below.